first thing I want to say uh, to start this uh, video off is that I'm big down there. Uh, no, but uh, seriously, uh, this is this has been tough, man. I've had to joke. I mean, listen, I've been having to do a lot of joking recently, man. The amount of death and sadness and tragedy that has been going on. I don't know what's going on in the world right now, but it's like surrounding. I feel like it's surrounding me like a dark cloud, man. Um, you know, people that I know, my dog, I mean, just from everything. Luckily, it's not a son like Kevin Nash. Um, but there's just so much going on with people dying. I don't understand. Um, so Kevin Nash, um, he did, uh, his podcast, which you should listen to, I think if you can, uh, about his, uh, son and what, what happened. We wondered what happened and it looked like that, uh, you know, that, that him and his son had quit drinking cold turkey, just they might, I don't know how much they were drinking before that. I don't know how much you have to drink to, to have to do that or want to do that. But I assume, you know, you're having a good time with your family and your son and your father and you're bonding in that way and you're hanging out and whatever. And then all of a sudden you're like, man, you know, we're going to, this is too much. Let's, let's make a change. And you do. And then somebody gets a seizure. I guess he got, you know, some kind of seizure, which triggered something else, which caused his death. So which can happen when you quit alcohol cold turkey doesn't mean that's why this happened. I don't know that. I don't really know. They don't know. I don't think, but it could be maybe the reason, um, why it happened. Um, so you should listen to Kevin Nash, talk about that and talk about his son and talk about everything. And, you know, obviously grieving and going through stuff. I mean, I mean, you talk about counseling and stuff that we all need. I know that I've, I've all my stuff from when I was eight years old, my father dying has come out in my thirties now. Uh, when I didn't expect it. So I can imagine that everything everybody else takes in, you know, is, is sitting there as well. But, you know, you basically don't think, uh, you know, just the amount of survivors, survivors guilt right now that's going on in, in with me, uh, between people at work and other people that I knew recently, it's like so many people. And then my, my dog, but she was old, you know, that's a dog, but it's, it's been all these things, the amount of survivors guilt that you have, or that you don't know, and it's going to come out later on. Uh, there's obviously this, there's 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 also conspiracy stuff out there. I'm not even going to get into that really. I understand the conspiracy stuff. I I don't I don't know what to tell you, man. I get it. You know, Scott Hall passed away. Uh, Kevin Nash's son passed away on the day Scott Hall was born. Um, Scott, uh, Kevin Nash's son was 26, which is an age that, you know, you guys know about. They were in a group called the NWO. Um, I understand that, that there's that going on, but you know, man, you just, it's just stupid coincidence, you know, and people are sending some people, a lot of people are sending like love and nice messages to Kevin Nash and, and stuff, but a lot of people are just sending nasty things. He talked about the things that people say about him and his son on Instagram and stuff. I just thought it was horrific what he said. And I've heard Kevin Nash say some a lot of things on Twitter and other places where like I don't even agree with him politically on a lot of things. You know what I mean? I think sometimes he's virtue signaling and he don't even really know you know, he means well with what he's saying, but he doesn't even know what's going on. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean that, oh, you know, maybe pay more attention to your, it's like, what are you talking about? Like, so I just find that insane that people are sending him disgusting messages and sick stuff and have his real phone number and all these other things. He's like doxxed and stuff. It's like, what the hell is going on, bro? Um, so just weird, really creepy, weird stuff there. Um, just based on the guy's opinion, that doesn't, why any, and by the way, anybody, it's all troll, nasty human being people, right? Because you wouldn't do this normally to someone's face. You wouldn't do this if you were going to be caught or found out. You wouldn't do this if you were happy in life, probably. Um, you know, you're doing things like this because you're a psycho because you, it's impossible to criticize somebody else for something like this without it, it, you're just completely full of crap you know what i mean it's obvious that it's just mean evil it's just evil is what it is because if you're sitting there like oh this you know somebody died because you but do this it's like no nah, man if you think that his opinion in tweets has to do with that then 
you know, you're obviously an evil psycho, like, or whatever. Or you're just mentally, maybe the mentally, you know, stupid, tarted people on Twitter or something. I don't know, bro. But um, I listened to his podcast. It's a long one. I haven't gotten through all of it yet. Um, it, it is amazing that he's able to do it. It's insightful to, to look into relationships of people, to look into his relationship with his son, to get his feelings about it, to maybe spark some awareness, to be honest, about, you know, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but I mean, maybe it's could help some awareness about alcohol and even trying when you're trying to quit alcohol, the pro- process that you maybe need to go through. I, I don't know. I don't know yet about that, but it I'm sure it might help somebody somewhere. So, you know, if Kevin Nash's son, his situation can help hundreds of thousands of people, maybe um, that that could be a that could be an, uh, a one a good thing, I guess, from it. But this is just unimaginably sick and sad and terrible you know, and uh, I can't believe he can get through the podcast. You know, what I mean, to be honest, I am. Uh, but I know that I'm I'm the way that I've I always have to laugh. I always have to make sick, crazy jokes, you know, but not the ones where you target somebody's family after someone passed away. But I mean, like, you know, I have to make crazy jokes to get through anything, you know, or I'm all jacked up, Um, you know. So I don't know. I just recommend the podcast. It was a good listen. I, if you noticed, I haven't made any really videos about this since it happened other than to post like that I, I felt bad and, and his family and everything because like, you know, I just don't, what am I going to, there's nobody that can tell us anything but him. It's just, this is the horrific and I feel bad and I'm sorry to Kevin who he don't know who I am anyways, who cares like what I do or what a lot of people do. You know, everybody thinks they got to jump on and say and do, nobody cares, you know, what you have to say. So I haven't really said much, but now that I've heard his comments on what happened, I found it uh, fairly interesting. Very sad, but interesting. And uh, you can go listen to that podcast if you'd like to um, on uh, Click This Podcast with Kevin Nash. Uh, I mean, it doesn't get any better than Kevin Nash and Sean Oliver. You know what I mean? I, Sean Oliver has always been one of the more wildly talented uh, news reporters, uh you know, uh, hosts and a little bit of comedian too. You know, he's got that comedy factor. Sean Oliver does that is fat. It's just, it's just awesome. I've always, we've always loved Sean Oliver. I've always enjoyed him. Um, and Kevin Nash too, you put the two together. I mean, it's no doubt why, uh, the, you know, Kevin chose Sean Oliver to do his podcast with him or, you know, whatever the case is, or that he did, he chose to do it with Sean Oliver. I don't know who reached out to who, but click this, uh, has been doing really pretty well. Um, before this and, and all his shows are pretty fairly interesting. I think I did, uh, I took a knock at him a little while back because if I remember, it was like, I watched an episode of it where Kevin was kind of like quiet. He was very tired and quiet. And if it was almost boring because Kevin couldn't, wasn't saying a lot. And and Sean Oliver was almost trying to like keep the conversation rolling. But Kevin Nash was kind of like, uh, and I think he was trying to sip coffee or something like that. Um, and I remember thinking like, like I actually turned that one off, but uh, there's other ones that I'm, I'm really engaged in that are like phenomenal podcasts. So maybe every once in a while the, the, the energy is down for Kevin, but most of the time, like 90% of the time when I listen to this podcast, I, I don't stop listening. I'm like, yo, give me another one. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend that, you know, you check that out and, uh, on, on a bad note, uh, I mean, I mean, listen, shout out to Road Dog uh, for taking over for Triple H. I think Triple H is back tonight uh, on Raw. Uh, and luckily, Triple H seems to be OK. We haven't really heard anything as far as the covid. So I'm, I'm assuming he's back. But I, I really haven't seen. And, you know, I'm surprised that we haven't seen a, a, a more prominent news report about Triple H back and things are going on and, and stuff like that. I don't see anything. So I don't know. I, I haven't seen much about what's up. I, I guess Triple H is just back and everything's good. And, you know, the COVID wasn't long and that's it. Like, cause there's no real update. There hasn't been any real update about it, but I'll tell you one thing. Raw does not look very good tonight it, and maybe it will be good. It could be great, but it doesn't look good right now. Um, last week's Monday night raw was one of the worst in a long time. It was very bad last week. The week before was good. The DX reunion stuff was fun. It was good. 
Um, but last week was awful. And it's not Road Dog's fault. It just he was there to run the show and whatever was written was written, I believe. But man, it wasn't. And you know, tonight they're 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 touting Bianca Belair and Bailey as the main segment. You know, and the and, and more with the Finn Balor O C club and, and like these are the two things that are mainly being pushed so far from what I'm seeing. Oh my god, man. Bianca Belair and, and Bailey is is just not been very good. And Carl Anderson and Finn Balor, it's just this this is not going to do it, man. Uh, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. These guys are everyone here can wrestle. And everyone here is is good, you know, for the most part. But nobody is spectacular, and nobody is that top tier to me. And so this is a there's a problem tonight. We could be in trouble tonight. I hope not. I hope that they do a bunch of stuff that I didn't see coming, or that they just put on a good show. But man, I I don't have good um, feelings about tonight's Monday Night Raw whatsoever, to be honest. Anyway, I'm Joe Cronin, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the last couple of days of streams. This past week, we've had a, a good time. I feel like I'm down right now. I'm a bit down. I did listen to that Kevin Nash podcast, and I have not had coffee yet today, so I feel like uh, I'm on a downer right now. But uh, leave a leave a thanks, uh, super thanks, if you'd like to down below. I'll pin it to the top, or just simply comment down below with what you think about uh, all the wrestling news this week or tonight, and maybe I might make another video if I see comments down below and there's enough news that I... And being asked about that maybe I, I could talk about. But right now, um, that's it. I'm looking not really... I'm nervously looking forward to Raw tonight. I, I am worried that I'm going to waste three hours of my time and uh, that it's going to put me to sleep, quite honestly. I am very concerned tonight. I'm Joe Cronin. This is the Joe Cronin Show for over 10 years on YouTube. The longest live post-Raw streaming show there is. No one else this long. Uh, rest in peace to Kevin Nash's son, Tristan. And uh, this is obviously sad and continues to uh, to be. And, uh, man, it was it was it was uh, interesting to listen to that podcast earlier um, and how anybody could think nothing but like sorry and, and you know, for your loss and and and, and, and happy, you know, th thoughts and, you know, being sad about it. Anything else but that is inhuman to me um i'll see you guys tonight live uh, after monday night raw here's some other videos of mine you might uh have missed out on <laughs>